So guys, March 26, 2023. It's the Elite Eight of the 2023 Women's March Madness College Basketball Tournament, Iowa versus Louisville. And arguably the best player in women's basketball right now, Kaylin Clark, she hit a taunt and mocked the opposing team saying that you're down 15 points, shut up. And she also hit the you cannot see me taunting the other team like John Cena. Now this moment in mockery definitely went viral all over social media and it gave her even more popular popularity and fans around the world with just how people love the way that she carried herself, the way that she trash talked, the way that she could actually back it up. She just bring drama to the sport and it gave people a reason to watch women's basketball. Now one week later, on April 2nd, 2023, Kaitlyn Clark in Iowa, they were set to score off against one of the best teams, LSU, a team that is coached by one of the greatest coaches in college, Kim Mulkey, and a team that consists of players that people describe and say that that doesn't fit the quote unquote popular norm with people calling them unprovoked trash talkers, hood, ghetto, etc. And they are led by Angel Reese, one of the most hated, <laughs> hated players in the sport. The stage was set, two teams going back and forth, bucket after bucket, bad foul after bad foul. And in the end, LSU took home the trophy and they also took home the bragging rights. However, with a few moments left in the game, LSU's leader Angel Reese hit the exact same taunt that Kaitlyn Clark did in the Elite Eight. And this specific moment set the entire social media in world on fire and made the term classless trend on twitter and it caused an uproar by many fans across the world guys who's right who's wrong was this too far did caitlin deserve this is she the victim who is to blame <sighs> guys buckle up because i ain't gonna lie there's definitely a lot of things that i feel like needs to be said So guys, boom, women's basketball, a sport that I feel like many people around the world just have mixed opinions about, and I ain't gonna lie, despite what is definitely said about women's basketball, I feel like one thing that we can all agree on is that this past Sunday on April 2nd, the game between Iowa and LSU, this was arguably one of the greatest games in women's basketball history. Like I said, bucket after bucket, even bad foul after bad foul if you want to take it there. And I think the drama and the politics surrounding this game definitely made this game a whole a lot funner to watch. Now taking a step back in this specific video, I personally want to focus on two players. Caitlin Clark, the fan favorite, arguably the most popular player in the sport in this specific moment in time, and a player that people call the Steph Curry of women's basketball. And then on the other side for LSU, we have Angel Reese, a player that people hate because of the way that she carries himself, the way that she trash talks. She doesn't fit the quote unquote appealing player, a player that has an unbelievable come up story and a player that is well respected among her peers as one of the best two way players in the sport now real quick super important context let me give you guys a backstory about both of these players now caitlin clark is actually from des moines iowa and she has always been regarded as one of the best players in her class now in her own words she actually used to play summer basketball with the boys and playing aau and whatnot and i do think this was definitely a good move for her just because she could just develop her skills a lot better so that whenever she does start playing against people in the same gender the game will just come a lot easier Easier. Now, Kaylin finished her high school career as the fourth ranked player, according to ESPN, and she was also named as a McDonald's All-American player in the 2020 high school class. She went on to commit at Iowa University, and in her freshman year, she actually led the NCAA in scoring, averaging 26 points a game. And her play style, like I said, that people compared to Steph Curry is definitely one of the main reasons why her name became so popular. And in a nutshell, that brings us to where we are today, where ever since her freshman year, she was able to develop her skills and to now be unanimously named as the best player in women's basketball. Now, coincidentally enough, people don't even realize Angel Reese, she was actually in the exact same high school graduating class as Caitlin Clark in 2020. However, she was actually ranked above Caitlin Clark as the second best recruit according to ESPN. And although back in 20, she had originally committed at Maryland University where she did play two seasons there, but unfortunately she did get hurt in certain moments and she didn't have the best start to her college basketball career. But in the end, she ultimately transferred to LSU because of the trust that she had with coach Kim Mulkey 
Oakley and the winning culture at LSU. And once again, in a nutshell, that brings us to where we are today. Two players that graduated in the exact same high school class, both committed to schools in their home state. Players that love to trash talk, make the game fun to watch, and two players that ultimately squared off in the national championship game. Now, the reason why I do want to focus on these two players specifically is because there was a verbal altercation that took place at the end of the game that definitely caused an uproar and stirred conversations unlike no other in the sport and there's definitely a lot to unpack here in this specific moment in time. Now with a few moments left in the game, Angel Reese hit a taunt, the exact same taunt that Caitlin Clark hit in the Elite Eight against Louisville and Angel Reese was taunting her for about 5 to 10 seconds. It honestly felt like a lot longer in that moment in time and she also pointed her finger at her ring indicating that she had beat Caitlin Clark in Iowa and that she won the national championship. Now this civil trash talk is definitely what set Twitter on fire and it made the phrase classless trend all over Twitter and it definitely gained a ton of mixed opinions opinions about this altercation. I mean, just take a look at what some people are saying. Angel Reese has no class. Caitlin Clark was raised right. This is classless. Angel Reese is only 20 years old, so she's still young, but taunting Caitlin Clark like this shows a pure lack of class. Win with class, lose with class, play with class. Clark's mom and dad can be proud that her daughter ignored the taunting. They definitely raised her right. Teach your players to be classy in victory and defeat. This display by Angel Reese in closing seconds of double digits taunting the AP player of the year is definitely cringy as it gets. How you handle victory says as much as how you defeat. Pretty sure you guys understand what she was saying. Kudos to Kaylin Clark for not engaging. I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist, but guys, honestly, this entire situation is honestly crazy to me. I generally do think a lot of those people on Twitter and people in general are really delusional about this situation. And I really do think people are making this situation a lot bigger than it needs to be. Now, you guys know how I keep it real on this channel. You guys, if you've been following me on this channel, man, Juice Play TV, we got to get honest. How do I personally feel about this situation? I personally do not think that Angel Reese did a single thing wrong. Not a damn thing wrong i mean guys you got to keep the same energy to every single player i mean the fact that caitlin clark hit the exact same move and this actually helped her gain a lot more popularity around the world and people are liking the fact that she's tough she could trash talk she's ta taunting the other team she's up she's doing this and it just gave people her respect for like i said talking trash and backing it up but whenever angel reese does it it's a bad thing like i said at the beginning of the video caitlin clark is known to be a trash talker she's been doing this her whole entire career she literally told the opposing team you're down 15 points shut up imagine if angel reese said that Angel Reese didn't even say a single word. All she did was point at her finger and hit the John Cena you can't see me in her face. That's all she did. Like I said, you have to keep the same energy no matter who it is. And what's crazy to me personally is that everybody out there, you watching this video included, because I know y'all love when NBA players do this all the time. Y'all love when John Morant is talking trash. Y'all love when LeBron James is talking trash, Steph Curry. Y'all love when Kobe Bryant is talking trash, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird. All these people, your favorite player, they all talk talk trash it's a normal thing and i really want people to stop thinking that trash talking is a negative thing it's part of the sport it's what makes the game funner to watch it makes the game more passionate and it brings a different entity and a splash to the game people need to understand that just because you trash talk does not mean it's a bad thing caitlin clark in no way shape or form is a bad person or a bad player anything like that like i said this has nothing to do with caitlin clark i think it's the fact that two of these people are in the situation and she's from the masses she looks like the victim him into this situation i think just because she's a girl and she lost people are just quick to call her the victim and because angel reese because of the color of her skin it looks like she's the aggressor in this situation i feel like that's the problem that you know we have in this world but definitely keeping it basketball related it just does not make any sense to me like i said i just think it's soft the way people are just acting it's the sport it's the nature of the game trust me i get it you know it's a cinderella story iowa they had a crazy, crazy run. Kaylin Clark making the game a lot funner to watch, playing like Steph Curry, you know, this, this, and that. Trust me, I completely get it. It would have been the cherry on top 
if they could have took care of business and handled the game and got the W. Trust me, I get it. But, you know, Kaitlyn Clark, she's still the best player in college basketball, at least from what I personally seen. But, you know, it's just the nature of the game. What Angel Reese did was not ghetto, it wasn't hood or anything like that. We got to cut the games because, like I said, if Kaitlyn Clark was able to do it, if John Morant, if Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, all the your favorite players talking trash, but when Angel Reese does it on national television and that made the, the moment bigger than the actual game, we got to cut the games. I mean, let's clap it up. <laughs> you know, let's let's definitely clap it up for LSU. I feel like everybody was definitely doubting them. Even the beginning of the season, I heard they were um, they were not even ranked the top 10 team in the country. And the fact that they ended up winning the national title against Iowa, who was ranked second in this tournament and definitely the favorites to win this entire March Madness. We got to clap it up for LSU. I definitely feel like they played a team game and we also got to give kudos to Iowa as well I mean obviously Kaitlyn Clark with what she's been able to do her crazy shot making ability everybody else on the team who's there to support you know hit threes when needed the bigs was doing their thing throughout the entire run I'm personally giving kudos to both teams because like I said I mean this is definitely fun to watch this was easily one of the best basketball games that I've seen in a quite a long time but yeah like I said shout out to Angel Reese shout out to Kaitlyn Clark I'm pretty sure there's no bad blood it's just the nature of the game like I said Kaitlyn Clark she's a player that loves she's a competitor you know she gets trash talking it's, it's really nothing crazy it's just people on Twitter you, I'm pretty sure you guys get it but I think this video is probably a lot longer than it needed to be but I really want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section uh down below let me know what you guys think smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new more bangers on the way i think this is actually my first time making a uh, women's basketball video on this channel too if you guys want more let me know down below but yeah smash the like button do all that all that being said guys thank you for watching it's been an episode of juice made tv peace